hey what's up youtube it's kozak and i'm back with yet another hair video in this video i'm actually going to be showing you guys how to wash your cornrows with no frizz a big problem that a lot of people face is washing their braids and keeping them neat so i'm going to show you how to do that with no frizz at all if you enjoy the video be sure to leave this video a like i already know you're going to enjoy it so go ahead and hit the like button and of course if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe with the bell icon so that you can stay notified if you care about your hair which i know you do since you're watching this video subscribe and turn on post notifications and let's go on this hair journey together all right now let's dive in first thing first if you have any accessories in your hair you want to go ahead and remove them so beads any sort of um jewelry any, anything like that go ahead and completely remove everything out of your hair so this is what we're starting with everything's nice neat and put together no frizz at all you're going to grab a rat tail comb and you're now you're just going to scratch your scalp you're just going to remove that build up that's been building up in your braids the reason you're doing this with a comb instead of your hands is using the end of a rat tail comb is going to help everything to stay nice neat and put together the less you touch and manipulate your braids the neater it's going to come out after washing them so that's why we're using a rat tail comb and we're just going in a forward and backwards motion into each of those braids and just scratching the surface of the scalp removing buildup and being as delicate and as gentle as we possibly can i recommend doing this step before you even hop in the shower so you're doing this in preparation to wash your hair all right, so now it's actually wash time. You're gonna grab a shampoo and a conditioner. I'm actually gonna be using a spray bottle instead of running my head under the faucet, just so I can demonstrate a little bit more clearly as to what you're doing, and I can control like how much water is actually gonna be in my hair. But ideally, you just run your head under water, of course. You're now going to grab your shampoo. I'll also link all of the products that I use in this video in the description for you. So don't even worry about it. It's waiting for you in the description. All right. I like to use this shampoo that actually has a nozzle to it. It makes it a lot easier to control how much shampoo is going to go into your hair and, and get it exactly where you need it to be. So, of course, you're going to take your shampoo and you're going to run it in between each and every one of your parts, similar to how you would apply oil into your braids. If you haven't seen my last video, check it out. But you're going to run that in between each and every one of your parts. And then after that, you're going to start to work the shampoo into the actual braid. We're being gentle here. We're going in a motion that goes into the braid. You're being gentle. You're being light. You're not trying to manipulate or touch your hair too much. You're just working the shampoo into the braid so that the shampoo can actually get underneath the braid and inside of the actual underneath of the braid and actually do some cleaning so we're just lightly working that into the braid we're not being too rough we're not running our hands through our hair that's gonna mess up your actual braids and make it even more frizzy so again the more gentle you are the less you manipulate and touch your hair the better this is gonna come out so we're being very gentle being very light i'm adding a little bit more water trying to get a little bit of a lather going there remember shampoo is only meant for your scalp it's actually not meant for your hair so that's why we're focusing on trying to clean the scalp that's why we applied it directly in between each of those parts that's why we're trying to get it underneath the braid so we can clean your scalp that's under your braids now what we're going to be doing since we now got the shampoo in and underneath the braid we're just going to be wiggling each and every one of those braids and trying to kind of scrub what's underneath there since we don't have access to it um, you're going to do that with every single one of your braids. You're going to be gentle. You're going to be light. You're not going to be too rough with it. You're trying to keep everything nice and neat and put together while still being able to cleanse and wash the areas that you need to wash there. Of course, don't forget to actually wash the rest of your actual head. Now we're going to go ahead and rinse out the shampoo. Same thing we were doing where we were just shaking, kind of like uh, scrubbing the bottom of the braid there. We're still going to be doing that, making sure everything gets cleaned, everything gets out. We don't want any buildup. Now it's time to condition. So you're just going to be running the conditioner into your actual hair. Now conditioner is meant for your hair. Shampoo is meant for your scalp. So now we're focusing now on our actual 
hair. So you can see me applying the conditioner to the end of my hair. Same thing with the top, same type of technique that we're doing it for the shampoo we're gonna be doing for the actual conditioner now. Running the conditioner into the actual hair. We're trying to get the conditioner in between those actual braids to actually condition the hair. We're going in the same motion that the braids are going in, which is a inward motion. We're being light, we're being gentle, we're being delicate because we're trying to eliminate any sort of frizz. After you're done conditioning your hair, you want to be sure to leave the conditioner in for anywhere between three to five minutes. It's very, very, very important that you leave in the conditioner so that your hair actually has time to absorb it and get the benefits out of the conditioner. All right, after that, we're gonna rinse our hair out. I'm gonna just cut to a clip here. There we go, <laughs> looking perfect. This is what we're looking like after getting out the shower and washing our braids. Don't worry about the frizz, we're gonna be getting rid of that. What we're gonna do now is we're going to dry our braids. If you don't have a hair dryer, you can just let your hair air dry, but we want to somewhat dry our braids so that they're not completely soaked because we're gonna be applying oil. Now the reason we're applying oil instead of a conditioner is because applying oil to your braids instead of conditioning your braids with a leave-in conditioner helps to keep your braids nice and neat. You're gonna apply that to each and every individual part and then you're gonna work that in the same way that you applied all of the rest of the products where you're just gonna be running your fingers away from the part into the actual braid, being gentle, being light, and working that into your actual scalp. I find oiling your braids to be significantly better than applying a conditioner because it just helps everything to stay neater. Conditioners for me frizz my braids up like very dramatically so I usually only condition my hair with oil when I do have braids in. Now we're gonna be using a mousse, a setting mousse. So you're gonna work that into every single last braid and then you're trying to eliminate all of the frizz. Now any frizz that you see you want to lay it down and make sure that it sits down and goes back into the actual braid. You wanna run your fingers to the end of your braid and into your braids. Again, we're just applying light pressure. Um, you don't have to be too rough. You don't have to be very forceful with this process. You wanna be just light, take your time, be delicate. You can kinda see how our hair's frizzy there, but don't worry. We're gonna be getting rid of all of that and making this look brand new. And just pay attention to how detailed I'm being here. I'm trying to see if I can see any frizz and trying to get that frizz to lay down because we're trying to get rid of all of the frizz that we possibly can so that we can get this looking brand new. All right, after applying it, this is what we're looking like. We're now gonna put on a do-rag and blow dry our hair. So now we're blow drying our hair for actually a decent amount of time now. I'd say blow dry your hair for about anywhere from seven to 10 minutes. Um, we're actually trying to get our hair somewhat more dry here. So we're getting our hair to sit down. After that entire process, you're gonna go ahead and remove your durag and you can already see it starting to look a lot better. We're starting to actually look like something here. Um, now, as a final touch, we're gonna be using a holding spray. Now with this product, you really don't have to use too much. It is very strong um, and also pretty sticky. So be sure not to over apply it here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fingers and you're just going to detail, kind of pat down any frizz, any stray hairs there towards the end of your braids and on the top of your head as well. This being the final step, you wanna be as detailed and as thorough as you possibly can. You can even see me patting down some of these um, stray hairs or frizz um, as much as I can to kind of get it to sit down. And then again, that do-rag, once we put it on here, is gonna be the final step. We're gonna blow dry our hair again, and it's going to sit and lay all of it down and set it all in. It's very important when you do put the do-rag on that you want it to be very flush to the top of your head. So you can see me pulling towards the back on that flap there to make sure it's very tight, it's very snug, it's very flat to the top of my head there. That's very, very important because that's gonna kind of determine if your hair sits or not. You're gonna blow dry your hair for one final time and actually completely dry your hair. So the first time that you blow dry your hair, I'd say you do that for five minutes. Second time, I'd say you do that for five minutes. And then this final time, anywhere from 10 to even 15 minutes, depending on what setting you have it on. But now you can see the finished and final product look how neat and put together our braids look it almost looks like when we first started before we even washed our hair 
this is so much more put together so much more neat than just washing your hair when you normally wash your hair it's super frizzy super hard to keep neat and you usually have to take it out because it just gets too crazy look how nice and set our braids look this is the finished product this is what we're looking like and that is how you can easily wash your braids without any frizz if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave this video a like and of course if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you can stay notified i make videos every single week so if you care about your hair this is the channel for you subscribe with the bell and i'll see you guys in the very next video thank you guys so much for watching i'm kozak peace out